Hello lovely lot, my name is Max and welcome back to my YouTube channel and another Nottingham Forest video. Yes, we are back with some more tactics and transfers today talking about a muted move for 24 year old English left back Omar Richards in a deal in the region of around 10 million pounds from Bayern Munich. We will be discussing his path to the Bundesliga Giants as well as how I think he could fit into this Nottingham Forest system which I personally think would be one of the signings of the summer for us. So of course before we do that don't forget to drop a like on this video and and subscribe to the channel ring in that notification bell so you do not miss a single Nottingham Forest video and with that being said let's start talking about Omar Richards and why I think he would be a fantastic fit for Nottingham Forest. Omar Richards was born in Lewisham in London and would learn his trade at the Fulham Academy joining at the age of 10 an academy which has churned out a real plethora of talent over recent years and he would spend around half a decade learning his trade at the club but would eventually be released at the age of 16 16, not seen quite as good enough to occupy that left forward position he was training in. However, this wouldn't deter him. He would be quickly snapped up and signed to a professional contract by a championship side, Reading, who saw something in the former England youth international, where he would of course sign that first professional deal and start his transition into becoming a left-sided fullback. And this would turn out to be a very smart move, making his professional debut around a year later and scoring his first goal, of course, against Forest later that year. Year, putting pen to paper on a three-year extension. And in general, he would contribute to what was quite an exciting Reading team at the time with the likes of Lucas Zhao and Michael Olis coming through the ranks at the time with the Wiltshire team. And just in general, it was a pretty decent side. However, at the end of the 2020-21 season, his stint with Reading would come to an end as his contract could expire and he would join Bayern Munich, German champions and recent winners of the UEFA Champions League. However, his single season in Bavaria has been pretty mixed. He's not really been fancied by new managers Julian Nagelsmann and has registered just 16 appearances in both the league and the Champions League and barely getting 500 minutes over the course of the campaign. Despite this, his stats over the last campaign and during that last season with Reading look really solid. Bear in mind though his stats at Bayern were also coming from a 500 minute sample size. A very small sample size and it shouldn't be read into too too much. Take it with a pinch of salt. Over the last two seasons he's registered around four and a half tackles and interceptions per 90 minutes in league play, with his season in Bayern really improving his pressing game where he ranked in the top 1% of fullbacks in Europe for pressures attempted. He's also a really good threat in possession, completing just under five progressive passes per 90, around the same as Jed Spence, and as well as this two and a half dribbles per 90 minutes, both good enough for the top 20% and 2% of fullbacks in Europe. Despite this, his attacking play has never really been the strongest, failing to register a single goal or assist in his 500 minutes for Bayern this season. And in fact, historically, never been that good either. Just two goals and zero assists over the course of his career as a professional footballer. Definitely something worth looking at in terms of bringing him into the club. So what are we actually getting with Omar Richards? Well, we're getting someone defensively who is extremely solid, very hard to beat on the ball, somebody who's both quick, technically sound, and intelligent when making defensive actions. So in general, defensively, you're pretty solid there. And in terms of in possession, he still offers quite a lot progressively. He's a very, very solid player who knows how to get the ball forward, both through carrying and passing the ball. Of course, we mentioned ranking pretty highly, particularly for progressive passes for fullbacks. So as you can see, Forrest predominantly last season played a 3-5-2 formation under Steve Cooper. And I would imagine that the continuity of this is largely going to be sticking the same as we head into the next season, whether that's playing with two midfielders and a number 10 like we did with Philip Zinkenagel, or dropping into something a little bit more defensive, maybe someone like a holding midfielder alongside two central midfielders. The general premise is a 3-5-2 with the width in this side mainly coming from the wing backs. Now, with a move for Nico Williams from Liverpool seeming basically on the cusp of completion, a deal seemingly agreed, you can imagine he's going to have that right back slot pretty much locked down over the course of this season. Now, we talked about him pretty much in depth. If you've missed that video, we'll be in the iCard above this video. But what he really offers to this team is attacking threat and great progressive work into the final third. And he will dovetail really well with Brennan Johnson down that right hand side. But then on the other side of things, having someone on the left hand side like Omar Richards, who is a little bit more 
conservative in his style of play, as you can see him here on that left wing back slot, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Having a fullback in Nico Williams is going to bomb forward. He's going to maybe look for one twos, overlapping runs. He's going to be drifting up and down that right hand side and be the real attacking threat down the right hand side of the pitch, particularly in the wide areas. We're going to need someone who can maybe shift over and tuck inside and play more as a nominal left back in a more defensive position. We saw it with Jack Colback for large swathes of last season where he was playing predominantly as a left-sided fullback or a left-sided wing back, expected to tuck inside, offer a bit more defensive cover, whilst Jed Spence was the bombing up and down right-sided wing back. And defensively, Omar Richards historically has always been really solid. He's able to receive the ball, shuttle it into midfield, do the simple things. He's a pretty good progressive passer. Where he really excels is defensively. He's going to offer a lot more defensive cover than Jack Colback, a lot more athleticism, and technically on the ball is just as good as Colback, if not better. In my opinion, this is a really solid upgrade, and for the fee, looks like a pretty good deal. So yeah, what I really love the most about this recruitment for Omar Richards just seems to be the way in which you would probably slot into this side. Obviously, a deal for Harry Toflo seems as well like it's pretty close to completion. And he would offer probably a little bit more in the final third than Omar Richards. Again, smaller teams or teams less strong than, say, a Man City or a Man United or a Liverpool. He'd offer a bit more in the final third, but Omar Richards seems like the more well-rounded player, the defensively solid option in that position, and the conservative facility on the left hand side that will allow a more adventurous right wing back like Nico Williams to really bomb up and down the right hand side. So yeah, overall if you can't tell already, I really like this deal. I think it's a great piece of business from Nottingham Forest all round. 10 million quid seems like a pretty low risk fee, especially for someone who's just 24 years old and he's really shown some glimpses of some real potential for the position during his time at Reading and during those limited appearances for Bayern Munich. The only criticism I might have is that he hasn't played a lot in the last year or so, so maybe don't expect his implementation into the first team to be quite as seamless as we would be expecting. I mentioned that with Dean Henderson in his video as well. Obviously, not having had a lot of minutes in the last year can usually lead to there being a little bit of catching up to do in terms of training and getting ready for the match. But of course, let me know in that comment section down below what you think of the potential sign-in of Omar Richards. Personally, like I say, I'm a huge fan of this deal. I think it's a great piece of business from Nottingham Forest and exactly the caliber of player we should be looking at. But as always, answers in that comment section below. And whilst you're down there, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, ringing that notification bell so you don't miss a single video coming up in the near future. And keep an eye on your sub boxes for the 1000 subscribers Q&A coming at you this weekend. With that being said though, thank you very much for watching Reds. I will catch you later.